The pictures are shocking. Six million Jews plus millions of others rounded up by the Nazis, sent to death camps, murdered. 90-year-old Carl Wilner remembers it well because he was there, his face still bearing the mark of a Nazi rifle that was slammed into his jaw when he was a teenager. I was in two ghettos, four labor camps, and three major concentration camps, namely Auschwitz, Buchenwald, and Dachau. 97-year-old retired Brigadier General Alvin Erzik was there too. A tank commander during World War II, Erzik was one of the first to see the atrocities of the Holocaust. From floor to ceiling were bodies, skeletons. They looked like cordwood stacked from bodies and there was lime all over them. The two men share an unbreakable bond that started the day Erzik led his men to liberate Holocaust victims who were barely clinging to life. And together, they helped open a traveling exhibition at the Historical Society of Palm Beach County. It's called The Courage to Remember, and it traces the path of destruction as Hitler ordered the rounding up and murder of millions, including nearly all of Wilner's family. My sister, four years old. My brother, six years old. My mother, 32 years old. My father, 34 years old. And all my family, which, if you count them all, of 80 people, there's one survivor. Wilner's son, a music producer whose credits include Saturday Night Live, knows how astounding it is that his dad got out alive. I mean, besides luck, there's other things that happen, and he's what you call a true survivor in every way. Wilner and Erzik have made it their mission to share their stories with as many people as possible during their lifetimes. Both have written books, and Wilner was interviewed by director Steven Spielberg. And while it may be harder for them to get around now, when it comes to talking about those dark days, they're still going strong, fulfilling a promise Wilner made to his grandfather. He opened up his eyes and he said, somebody better live to tell the story. I'm here. Trying to make sure no one ever forgets. If someone tells you that there was no Holocaust or doesn't believe it, you tell them to come see me. I was there. I saw it. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for TV 18.